today's five things video topic is five things I couldn't live without. This was a suggestion from one of my viewers. This was a suggestion from Moody. Yeah. She now, want... obviously, she's not talking about fresh air, oxygen, shelter, food, water, that type of thing. So I thought, I'm going to get serious about this because five things that I couldn't live without. It had to be something that has had a major impact on my life and it has to be an ongoing impact and it has to be something that if it breaks or I lose it, I replace it immediately because I just can't be without it. So the first thing that came to mind was this. Little convex mirrors that you stick to your mirror car to help you see and reverse and park. So I have been driving with these little convex mirrors stuck to my big mirrors for about 30 years and I really cannot function without them. Each time I have bought a new car, the first thing I do is run out and buy these little mirrors to stick on the mirrors. And I don't know whether it's a girl thing because our brains are wired different or if it's a short thing because we just can't see. But my son says, what do you need that for? Just, just drive, just park. And I went, no, these things help me see. I'm sitting here looking in my mirrors and from this position in my car, which is just my normal driving position, I can see the white line on the ground beside my car on both sides. It helps me park. I'm one of these weirdos that likes to reverse into parking spaces. And when you want to do that, you can just chuck it into reverse, back you go, and you can see exactly where you're going. When you're driving along, it gives you an extra space to the side. You can see cars behind you. When you want to change lanes, you're not having to especially when you're getting old and you've got a bad back like me you can see in the the convex mirror cars that might be approaching up the side without having to turn quite so far i will not be without them the internet i had to include the internet now i know the internet comes with its own unique set of problems i'm not going to deny that but the benefits it brings far outweigh it. For me personally, I cannot count how many times a day we will access the internet for something. It might be to pay a bill, check a bank account, do my grocery shopping, do other sorts of shopping, clothes or homewares or giftware, find new recipes, healthy options and health conditions, hairstyles, how to make the lawn look nice. It provides the ability to have movies and music endlessly in our home. Google, it's just endless. It and is everywhere and it is nowhere, but it is fantastic. I could not live without an internet service to my house. Next it on my list is my silk quilt. I was very fortunate to be gifted a set of silk quilts by Ecosa. And when I say a set, I mean the lightweight one for summer, the mid-season one, and when you clip them together with the nifty little clips on each corner, you end up with a super heavy one for winter. The reason these quilts have made this, this list is because they have wonderful benefits, like they are hypoallergenic and the dust mites apparently don't like them. But the big thing for me is they keep you cool in summer and warm in winter don't really understand how I can sleep in summer in my subtropical climate by the beach with a doona all summer and I stay cool. It is amazing. I've got the summer one on here at the moment. It's tucked away in there. The summer one is quite lightweight. And this here is the mid-season one. With the summer weight doona, the silk one, I sleep with this on all summer and I'm cool. And you've got the, the benefit of the snuggle. You know how you climb into bed and you get to snuggle down under a quilt? You can do that in summer with this silk quilt. And also, because I can use this, I no longer use a top sheet. So there's less washing and it's easier to make the bed. It's just a silk quilt. It's been... It's been a game changer for sleep. It really oh. has. I would definitely recommend them to anyone. And the good old toasty maker. 
toasty maker isn't just for making toasted sandwiches and toasted wraps. If you get one with the adjustable height, you can even do open grills. But wait, there's more. You can use it for anything that basically needs a hot plate. You cook eggs on it, fried eggs, scrambled eggs, put bacon on it, sausages on it, cook pancakes on it. If you're a young person and you've just left home or you're in a, a, a college dorm or something like that, this is an amazing thing because you can cook so many things on the humble toasty maker. This, this I get used several times a day sometimes and I had my last one. <laughs> I had my last one for about 18 years I remember because I put a photo of it on Facebook with a flower when it died and said rest in peace much loved toasty maker so that was amazing 18 years and Straight away went out and bought another one because we just cannot get by without our toasty maker. You haven't got one, you're missing out. It makes life so much easier. The toasty maker. Now I've saved the best one for last and what this one is, is my Ozito battery lawnmower. Now it's not the fact that it's an Ozito that's the big deal. It could be any brand. What's the important thing is the fact that it is battery powered and it's really light. It is just so easy to use. You don't have to worry about it always having petrol. You don't have to duck down to the servo to fill up the fuel tank just to put petrol in the mower when you've run out. You don't have to try and pull start the cord and hurt your arm because that is such a hard thing to do. There is, there is nothing on it to break. Look, I don't know what to say. It's made of plastic. It weighs nothing. It does a great job. It's so easy to use. And I will talk until the cows come home to praise the benefits of having a battery-powered lawnmower. That has made the list absolutely. So they are the five things that I couldn't live without thanks to the suggestion from my viewer, Moody. Thanks, Moody. That was a great suggestion. And I want to know... <coughs> It was a bug. If you've got a subject for a five things that I can do, if it's in my capability, I'll give it a crack. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Leave me some comments and I'll see you again soon.